What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and what we expected to happen has happened. Eden Hazard to Real Madrid is now finally confirmed after a season of Real Madrid and Hazard just blue balling us. But it's been confirmed now. It's a five year deal. The only thing I've heard about the fee is that it could rise to 130 mil. So it's probably the max that we could have gone. Credit to Marina and the Chelsea board for getting that. We all knew it was happening. I mean, since the last World Cup when Eden Hazard made it clear that Real Madrid was his only other destination other than staying at Chelsea. We all knew he was at least thinking up, thinking about it. The rumours just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger as the season progressed. By the end of the season, if you didn't think he was going, then you were just deluding yourself. I mean, I know I was trying to delude myself into thinking he was going to re-sign, but deep down you know it wasn't going to happen. It's the worst possible time for us. Us in the middle of a transfer ban, we don't know whether it's going to get appealed or not. We've just found out that it has been appealed. But even if it does get appealed, are we going to get the time to get the players we want? How much are we going to get bent over by every club? Because they know this is probably going to be our last transfer window for the next year. You also got Maurizio Sarri potentially leaving to Juventus on top of this. With all the injuries as well, because we've got no Rudiger, no hudson Adoy, no Loftus-Cheek for the start of the season. And now Rhys James got injured today as well. He got stretched off in a game for England. We're in a really bad state and Eden Hazard to Real Madrid is just a cherry on top of that cake. Now, Chelsea released a statement. Just give me a second to get up. Chelsea director Mar Marina Granovska said, Although it's with sadness we say goodbye to Eden and we made it absolutely clear to him the club wished him to stay. We respect the decision he has made to take on a new challenge in a different country and follow his childhood dream of playing for Real Madrid. The memories he leaves us with will not fade. He provides all who watch Chelsea play with great entertainment and many match-winning contributions and for that we thank Eden enormously. He's been a model professional throughout his time at the club, a wonderful individual to have around and a joy to work with and we look forward to welcoming him back to Stamford Bridge in the future. Now, it's obvious Eden has, a, has left on good terms. He's done it the complete opposite of the way Thibaut Courtois did it. By the way, you can see him taking the piss on Twitter as well. He's trying to have a sneaky dig, but we know he's only going to be watching games on the bench. But back on Eden Hazard anyway. Eden Hazard, different to Thibaut Courtois, has tried to leave in the best way possible. He's been open, which I know has angered a couple of Chelsea fans, but there's a difference between being open and being disrespectful. I think Eden Hazard kept to that line pretty well. He was trying to be as honest as he could with Chelsea fans that he was leaving, but he was trying to leave on the best way possible. And two goals in the European final against Arsenal, to me, is a good way. That's good enough for me. Now, Eden Hazard has broke records at Chelsea. He's won two Premier League titles. He's won two Europa Leagues. He's won an FA Cup. He's won a League Cup on top of that. He's also won the, the Premier League Young Player of the Year, the Player of the Year. He's won the PFA Fans Player of the Year. He's won the Chelsea Player of the Year three times. He's played, tw played 26,963 minutes for us, 352 games, 110 goals and 92 assists. Even when you look at his contribution for Chelsea as well, 49% of our goals this season came from Eden Hazard, either by the goal or the assist. Since Hazard's debut... No one else said more goals and assists for Chelsea. Eden has this 191. Willian is 97, with the, who's the closest. Look at other stats as well. Most goals and assists in the Premier League since has his debut. He's fourth of 139. Only Harry Kane, Lukaku and Sergio Aguero have more. And he's won six major trophies with us. Eden Hazard has done a lot in his time for us. And there's been a lot of questions over whether Eden Hazard leaves Chelsea as a legend. People saying he, what he's done hasn't been up to the level of a Lampard or a Terry or a Drogba. But in my opinion, it does. In my opinion, players like Lampard, Terry, and Drogba are up there at the very, very top. But that doesn't mean you have to be at their level to be a legend. Eden Hazard's a legend in his own right. He's carried this Chelsea side for years. Honestly, if we gave him more support, if we gave him that right winger that could take some of the pressure off him that we've been screaming for for years, he might have stayed. If we were better on the transfer windows, we might have stayed, but if spots and maybes, they don't really mean anything. We didn't, and he's gone to pursue his dream at, at Real Madrid. So, all you can really say to Hazard is, best of luck. I hope he wins the Champions League there. I hope he's successful. I hate Barcelona anyway, so I'd rather see Real Madrid succeed than them. Ugh.
But it's just painful because you just sit there thinking, what is going to happen next season? We look like we're in a really bad place. I don't know where we go from here because our future is so unclear. We don't know who's going to be managing us next season. We don't know who's going to be starting next season. We don't know if we're going to be getting any additions or not next season. We've seen the problems with our side already. We were transitioning. I thought towards the end of the season, we were starting to click a little bit better. And next season looked a bit more promising under Maurizio Sarri. Maybe if the players understood the system a little bit better, as they were starting to do towards the end, we might have a little bit of hope for next season. But if he's going, then all of that was for nothing. All the transitioning means nothing. It all depends on the next manager's style of play and how quickly the players can adapt to that if they need to. But again, it's all question marks. That's why you don't know what to look for for next season. You really haven't got a clue. Let's just see what happens in it. But worst, the worst has happened. Eden Hazard has gone to Real Madrid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Let me know your thoughts and thank you for the memories, Eden Hazard.